2025 has been a really rough start for the tech industry and things just got a whole lot worse. So the past month, there's been a lot of new releases, a lot of new tech updates, and actually Nintendo recently just announced their new Nintendo Switch 2. Well, you're probably wondering, why are you talking about the Nintendo Switch 2? That is a handheld console. This is a PC tech channel. Well, it's because they actually went ahead and confirmed that the Switch 2 uh, handheld is going to support NVIDIA DLSS and ray tracing. So they're promising a lot higher FPS as well and a smaller screen, which is going to look really nice. So the upscale with DLSS and frame generation, possibly in the future, they're promising around 120 FPS on some games. So they did show the new Metroid Prime on quality mode. It was running 4K 60 FPS. But again, handheld mode is at 1080p, while docking it will allow you to do the 4K 60 FPS. So on the handheld version, it's not gonna be 4K, it's still gonna be 1080p, which is still great, especially at that smaller screen size. So they did go from 720 now to 1080, and then when you dock it, you can go all the way up to 4K 60 FPS. So in performance mode, you can do 1080p at 120 FPS on the TV when you dock it, or 720 at 120 FPS. Unofficially, Nintendo never released the specs of the Switch 2, but rumor has it it's going to be using the Tegra T3239, which is based on the Ampere architect. So that allows full-on ray tracing and DLSS upscaling. So NVIDIA has yet to release their 60 series GPUs, and so far there have been some PCs listed with the RTX 5060 and the RTX 5060 Ti. It's ranging anywhere from 1149 all the way up to $14.99. Now, of course, some of them have different specs when it comes to the CPU, what they're pairing it with. So there's gonna be some fluctuation on there so we don't have official pricing as of yet. But the rumor is saying that's gonna be priced right around the $500 price point for the 5060 and the 5060 Ti probably a little bit more. So there's obviously some more issues when it comes to the tariffs. Uh, they're recently actually just recording this video as of yesterday. They already currently have a 20% tariff from China, and I know some companies moved over to Taiwan, but now there's gonna be an additional 34%. So now we're looking at 54% on tariffs when it comes to anything shipped from China, and then some went to Taiwan, but now Taiwan has a 34% uh, tariff as well. So GPUs are bound to go up in price. So this MSRP is definitely going to go up in price as, as we've clearly seen with the 50 series, the 5090s, 5080s. They, they started at one point and they've gone up already twice uh, in pricing. And now we're going to see it go up again for the third time. And it's going to be a lot more. So official pricing is not released yet for the 5060. My guess is going to be right around the $500 price point for the 50 CCTI and probably like 400 for the 5060 non-TI, which is hoping. And then if AIB partners get a hold of them, then they're gonna do obviously from the Founders Edition type, which they might not even do Founders Edition, um, they'll probably go up a little bit higher with the higher end models. So we just have to wait and see, but like I said, they did post some online. As you can see here, the CyberPower PC was listed with the Ryzen 8700F, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 5060 with a two terabyte SSD for 11.49. Um, specs are okay, they kind of, cheap out on some of the components, but 1149 kind of gives you an idea of what ballpark this GPU is gonna be in when it comes to the pre-built machines. With, with us at PowerGP, we definitely use higher quality parts, so we're probably looking closer to the $1,300 price point. All right, so as we all know, the AMD 9800X3 has been a very hot CPU. It's been selling out like crazy, even still till today. Uh, sometimes it is hard to get a hold of. Uh, they launched back in November, and we definitely had a big influx when it came to Intel versus uh, AMD. AMD definitely started kind of taking the lead on it uh, because previously the 14 and 13 gen from Intel had an issue where the CPUs were pretty much just dying. Well, now kind of the roles have been reversed and now AMD has having an issue with the X3D chips. So 9800X3D, 9950X3D, and 9950X3D are all having issues. Not too many reports are coming in for the 9900X3D, but the 9950X3D have had some reports. Mainly these have been on Reddit. Um, I think there's about 108 cases so far over on Reddit. That's not including people that, you know, don't post on Reddit. There's probably been more than that. Here at PowerGP, we've had our fair share as well. We've had about eight uh, CPUs have issues with the 9800X3D, none with the 9900X3D as of yet, and none with the 9950X3D. But we have sold quite a bit of 9900X3D since November. So theoretically, the amount that we've had issues with is not concerning, but it is there. Also, something else to note is that we personally do not use ASRock here at PowerGPU. Uh, we mainly use MSI, ASUS, and Gigabyte. 
Uh, so these were with different brand motherboards. Now, if we wanted, probably would have been using ASRock because ASRock is the one that has that higher percentage. Uh, out of the 107 cases on Reddit, they were saying about 88% of those failed 9800X 3Ds were using ASRock motherboards. So there's gotta be something going on there where the motherboard manufacturers are having a little issue, maybe overvolting, maybe just, there's, there could be a lot of different factors. Uh, there should be releasing an update uh, for these boards, so not to have that issue. Now, AMD did kind of do a small investigation and they're actually blaming it on chips failing to boot uh, down to memory compatibility and that actually dead CPUs. Well, I will tell you with our personal testing, we tried different RAM, we tried different boards, we tried different, a lot of different things and that's why we confirmed those eight that we've had actually were dead. They just had issues. We're not dead, but they, they had issues. There was something wrong with that CPU. There was some CPUs that weren't even posting. It was just with that CPU in the build, it was just staying at a black screen essentially and it was giving us a CPU error. Switching that CPU to a different build with a different board, different RAM, we tried that multiple times uh, and that's why we confirmed that those CPUs were actually dead or having some issues. So just keep an eye out for it. If you do have a 9800X3D and you start having issues, um, this is probably the issue and most likely you probably have to switch out the CPU. And when you remove the CPU, you wanna make sure you look at the pins on the board and the CPU itself because the ones that were on ASRock, they definitely showed some burnt marks. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, we'll see how many more come through, but as of right now at PowerGP, we've had around eight units so far that had that issue. Now to talk about something that I have talked about a lot for the past two months. Uh, when it comes to the tech world, we've been having a pretty big issue uh, when it comes to pricing on the GPU side of things. Well, things just got a lot worse and now it's gonna be across the board uh, with every PC component. Um, your GPUs, your CPUs, your motherboards, your RAM, power supply, cases, pretty much anything that is getting shipped outside of US into US. We personally here do not like to get into political things, but unfortunately this is something that affects us directly and it also affects you all as a consumer as well. So I wanna make sure that you guys are up to date in what's going on. So if you guys do wanna build a PC uh, here in the next month or two, literally in the next month or two, it's, yeah, it's gonna change quite a bit. So we've already had those increases already. So we had the 10%, uh, the first wave from China, then we had another 10%, like I spoke about earlier. Now you have 20% and then now a new 34% is being hit and people that, companies that were, didn't wanna get hit with the tariffs, they moved from China to Taiwan, which cost them, I can imagine, millions of dollars. Now they're getting hit with a 34% tariff in Taiwan as well. So all components across the board, we've already had conversations with different manufacturers, uh, manufacturers for RAM, for M.2, for power supplies. Um, just power supplies alone, uh, when we had a meeting yesterday, is that they stated that they had to up their power supplies by $30. As a business owner, we can't eat that cost because at the end of the day, building PCs, there's not that much margin to begin with. It can be ranging anywhere from 25 to about 35% uh, per PC. But now that we have these tariffs that are increasing up to 54% or 30% if it's being shipped from Taiwan, it pretty much will make us run in the negative if we were to eat that cost. So unfortunately, at the end of the day, the, the consumer that wants the product is the one that's gonna get hit with that tariff. This is applying across the board for everyone. It's not just electronics. Cars are also getting hit with tariffs as well. That's a whole different subject. That's, that's gonna also increase on the, on the market. So we don't know how long this is gonna last, but I will tell you, I already got some price information uh, from the new pricing of 5090s. Um, I can't give you a, a full like confirmed detail number, but we're being told it's gonna be right around the 4,000 all the way up to $5,000 on a freaking 5090. So currently as the recording of this video, uh, the pricing for 5090s, I think Astros are right around 3359. Uh, they're expected, imagine, add another 34% on top of that, the logistics behind it. You're looking at around $4,500, but from some of the meetings we've had, like some of the entry-level cards, they're, they're pretty much saying they're gonna price them right around the low 4,000. So I'm, I'm expecting Astros to be probably north of $4,600. So at this point, the 5090 is definitely not a gaming GPU, me personally, is what, I, what I've been saying, but it's based off the Blackwell architect. So they actually designed it based off the Blackwell Architect, which is used for a lot of AI stuff, workstation, um, not really gaming. So they use that same chip and then they put it in the 5090. So what they're, what's gonna happen is NVIDIA has kind of changed the way they've been doing their GPUs. A lot of it was gaming first. 
now it's kind of going into the whole AI thing where it's like 90% AI and like 10% or even 5% gaming. So we're the last ones to receive this product. So the rumor is, is that 5090s are gonna be in short supply throughout the whole entire life of the 50 series lifespan, which is insane. I've never, I've, we've never had this happen to us before. So it's kind of gonna put the position of 5080s gonna go up as well. So 5080s are gonna be right around the 2000 plus price point. So now we're looking at the 5080 to be kind of like the new gaming high-end GPU essentially. Unfortunately though, uh, I personally own a 5080, but the problem is I game at 1440p, which is not the problem. The problem is that it's 16 gigs of VRAM. Uh, so if you want to game over 1440p, there are gonna be definitely some games at 4K that are gonna just eat up all your VRAM. So it's not really, you can play at 4K, but there's gonna be some games you cannot achieve that with that GPU, definitely run into some micro stutter and, and you're gonna definitely cap out the VRAM on it. Personally, if you're looking to buy a PC or, or, or you need a PC here very soon, I would do it as soon as possible before all these tariffs take into effect. I think they're saying it's like April 9th and April 15th when they start taking into effect, but the market's already adjusting its pricing. So everything we're ordering now moving forward, uh, regardless of what it is, GPUs, RAM, M.2, whatever it may be, we're putting in our purchase orders and we're already getting hit with the new tariff pricing, even though that product is already in the US. This is the problem when it comes to these tariffs is companies just already start, I wouldn't say taking advantage, some, some do, don't get me wrong, some do, um, but some will definitely inflate it quite a bit uh, to make up some of those losses uh, in the long run. Again, at the end of the day, the consumer is the one that pays that. So it is a very frustrating thing. We went through COVID, we had a lot of issues with that, GPUs were through the roof, but this time this is a whole different level. We're not during a pandemic, it's just a shortage. And on top of that, tariffs are increasing everything by quite a bit. So recommendation wise, like I said, would definitely be purchase a PC as soon as possible if you plan to build one. If you decide to wait, we don't know the timeline on how long this is gonna be. Unfortunately, once again, this is all a political thing. So we kind of have to just keep our eye on it to see what happens. So really sorry that this is the news that I had to bring out to you all uh, here over on YouTube, but Unfortunately, it's just something we have to report on and it really sucks, but we're, change, we're trying to figure out ways that we can pass on more savings to you all as much as we can while also maintaining a balance of running a company because I have a team to take care of as well and a family. So at the end of the day, guys, just make sure you guys have notifications on, make sure you're following us over on Twitter. Uh, we're always posting updates on there and every time we go live on Twitch as well, we talk about this. We tell the community as much as we can. We're very transparent when it comes to this stuff. So that's pretty much all the news from me. Goodbye, subscribe.